All right, here is two in one video. All right, so Linux, you'll hear all the time from like naysayers and even like some adopters, they'll say like Linux is hard, right? And then in particular, they'll say, um, when they talk about different distros, they'll say like, well, Arch is a really advanced distro, right? So like, I'll have to do a video just showing me on the command line because I really just have basic proficiency on the command line. I'm not a power user. Like, I'm not hating on power users. I, I watch those guys. Like, I like DistroTube. Uh, I like Mental Outlaw. Luke's my guy, you know? I just, like, it's not really my thing. Um, it interests me, right? But my, anyway, I digress. Okay. Linux isn't hard, though. Like, it's... <laughs> This is not like rocket science we're doing here, right? Like I've done some difficult stuff in my life. I've taken some really difficult courses in college. Um, Linux isn't that hard. It's just a new system, right? So the barrier to entry is like, it's not like a 120 IQ, let's say. It's, it's more like a time commitment, right? So it's like, are you willing to learn a new system? Um, if you are, like, you'll just learn it and then you'll be, like, have decent proficiency in Linux, right? Like, for me, like, I don't work in tech, right? I don't write code. I, I don't really do a ton of video editing. So, like, I don't, anything I do on Linux, it's, it's really, like, basic stuff, right? I, it's really more just to make sure that my system is running, like, as proficiently as possible. Um, but, you know, I mean, th there might be a steeper learning curve depending on what you're trying to do. But, but ultimately, it's, 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 it's just a system that you need to learn. And, and the system itself is not that advanced, right? So if you think about a curve, like it's really steep, right? But then it kind of like plateaus because there, there's, there's just like it's not that difficult. There's just like you kind of have to adopt a different way of thinking, okay? Um, and if you're just like a dipshit or... Maybe you're not. I don't, I don't know. Like maybe you just are totally unwilling to humble yourself and learn something new. Then yeah, it's going to be hard. Like it's it's going to be annoying. If you're unwilling to learn the, the command line, like I don't care what distro you install. Because I used to do this back in the day. Um, I would install Ubuntu. I would install Linux Mint, and like yeah, it would work. But then like I'd want to do something more, and I was just like I don't want to use the command line. And and then it would just like eventually break, and I would just go back to my Mac at that point actually. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's not hard. It just takes time, right? It just takes a little bit of learning. All right. Um, it's just a new system that you have to adopt. Anytime you learn something new, right? It's going to take a little bit of time. I would also apply that to Arch, right? Like, I think there's this like idea about Arch that it's like this, like so difficult. It's impossible. You can't use this unless you've used Linux for like 10 years, right? Unless you're like, Yes, you're a sysadmin and, and you're so good. But it's like, not really, dude. Like, I, I I don't, I mean, it's a pain in the ass to install. But the last time I installed it, I used the Archfile installer with, with no shame, by the way. You guys, anyone, anybody who has an issue with that, you can suck it. It takes like 15 minutes. It's supposed to 45 minutes to an hour. Why wouldn't I save time? It's a little bit easier. Um, but yeah, like once you're up and running, like I just, I, I guess it's a little bit less un less stable, but I think even that is sort of a meme. Like I've just run it with no issue. And even before this, I ran Manjaro for like two years without an issue. Um, I guess Manjaro is a little bit more stable because they have the delay on the packages, but I don't know. I don't even know if that's really all that effective. Um, but yeah, I just, like, Arch, I think it's, I think the problem is, you know, when I first started using Linux, I I, I didn't want to lose my, my Mac OS, right? So I just dual booted, right? And I always would dual boot. And then I think it was, like, later I was talking to somebody, they are like, oh, you know how to dual boot? And I was like, well, like, you know, I don't want to lose the operating system I had on the, on the computer. And they were like, wow, I can't believe you figured that out. Well, nobody told me that it was hard to dual boot, Right. And I think that's what a lot of this is. It's like if, if 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 you're not if you're not like if somebody doesn't first tell you that this thing is difficult, a lot of times it won't be that difficult. But if you go into it with the mindset like, oh, this is hard, I can't figure it out, like I don't know what this does, like suddenly it, it becomes daunting, right? So yeah, that's it. Linux isn't hard, arch isn't hard, just you know, install arch, it's good. Or whatever you want, I don't really care.